Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Stern Spiel, a weekly podcast where a dad and a daughter sit down and talk about all things in pop culture and politics. And I'm Veronica Stern. I'm Charlie Stern at New Charlie Stern. Yes. And this week we are starting a new format for the show. Turning over a leaf. Turning over a leaf. Go ahead, Veronica. So we have been racking our minds about what we should do in terms of like how to make the show more interesting, how to make it more relevant, um, and to like bring in new followers. So what we are going to be doing is every week we'll be modern monitor <laughs> I can't say the word monitoring the Google trends. So basically you can go on Google, right? And you can search search trends and Google has a whole like analytic section where it tells you what's trending on the internet and it's actually quite interesting because you can search by category you can search by state you can search by area it's very fascinating so we figured we would go on there every single week and kind of look through it and say okay what are the five things we want to talk about that are trending this week so that is what we will be doing and do you have anything to say about it just that it doesn't have to be exactly five and there are many categories, yeah. and we're picking things from categories that are of interest where there's something we can talk about, right. maybe a story to tell, or yeah. it reminds us of something. Go ahead, Franca. All right, so to get us started today, we will start with the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, which just returned after six years, I believe, of being on hiatus. Hiatus, since now, 2019, that's did correct. you watch it? Uh, I did not watch it. I <laughs> I read an article about it in the. Uh, I read an article about it in CNN, and it was a lengthy, detailed article, and it brought some things to mind, including. Remember this? That's all you should play because I don't want to. We don't want to get a. We don't want to get a copyright strike. Yeah, we don't want to get. But copyright. that's what came to mind for me because. <laughs> well, what's the name of that song? That song is called "Victoria's Secret" by Jax. Jax. And I remember exactly where I was when I heard that song the first time. I was sitting in the car. I was on my way home. It came on. I came into the driveway. Normally, I would turn off, go inside the house. I couldn't turn it off. I was like, I don't know what this is. It's got this heavy rock guitar riff in the middle of it. That's interesting. But she seems to be talking about a brand. And I've never really heard a song that talks about a brand. Like, you don't hear anybody t singing about Mercedes Benz, right? Just You don't do that. Then I realized, wait a second, this is like a a pro woman's message in yeah. the middle of it. And I was like, this is very interesting. And of course... It was a new song, but it wasn't brand new. It was a week or two out. Did and it, it come out in 2020 um, or 2021 or something? Something like 2021. It was 2021. like a pandemic thing. It was a pandemic thing. It was big. And apparently this woman, Jax, had been on American Idol oh. previously. And then she got very sick. And then she did other things. And she came back and she ma made this song. And it was a smash. And part of the story was... Victoria's Secret and how women didn't like it because of the negative portrayal and they felt like it was just, you know, just not a really pro-women's well, message. let me say this. So, you know, the Victoria's Secret fashion show in historically has been like this runway show where like, you know, the biggest models will come out and like strut in the Victoria's Secret collections and, and whatnot. And it went away six years ago because of like... The Me Too movement, I'm sure, had something to do with it. And just, like, people being like, eh, we don't need to, like, objectify women like this anymore. And so it went away. And then there's Leslie Wexner. Who's that? So Leslie Wexner is the guy who Jax is singing about in the song. Is he still the CEO? He's the old man who lives in Ohio. He bought the company for a million dollars, like, ages ago. Built it up into a massive global business. Like, very successful guy. But he's got kind of a relationship with Jeffrey Epstein, and there's some other things about him Ooh. that really, yeah, right. It, it gets weird and awful. <laughs> it gets weird and I'm awful. I'm so scared. It gets weird and awful very quickly. Look, the only thing I can say for the Victoria, and we'll move on from this, mm -hmm. I never watched the fashion show. I associated it with the wings. 
Yeah. You know those angel wings? Yeah. Which seem like the silliest thing in the world to me. Yeah. So I don't understand like why this can't just live in the past. I don't understand it either. I did not watch it. Uh, because I just didn't feel like it. I've never watched it, and I've just seen clips. And from the clips that I saw, I was just feeling like we didn't we didn't need this back. So that's that on the Victoria's Secret fashion show. Let's move on to topic number two. Yep. Trend number two. Google trend. Google trend number two. Archaeologist Indiana Jones secret to find the secret tomb. Yes. What is this about? This is very interesting. So archaeologists. In Petra, which is a city in the Middle East, I, I believe it's in Jordan, discovered a secret tomb hiding beneath a mysterious structure. I guess it's like an ancient treasury kind of a building. Um, and this, this ancient building was featured in Indiana Jones. The recent excavation beneath the treasury has revealed 12 complete human skeletons and a trove of grave goods dating back 2,000 years. Ooh. And, you know, it's kind of an interesting story if you're into the archaeological thing. But for me... Are you into that? Not really, but Indiana Jones is our, is like archaeology Have you for ever me. watched Indiana Jones? I believe I saw the movie when it came out. I've never seen that's that That's the movie, movie with the giant ball that rolls down down the hill and oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah 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 so that's it kind of but this is the kind of stuff that's trending on google like the story comes out then all of a sudden people are googling Whoa. indiana jones i just looked up the the article so i could like see what this is all about and like they show it they're showing the skeletons oh it's so creepy but like i will say this and this is something i've been thinking about for a couple days or a couple weeks now how in in school i always really enjoyed like history i've always enjoyed it i think it's fascinating i think it's interesting to know like where things come from where we come from all of this stuff and specifically like the creation of society so i'm actually kind of interested to watch indiana jones after hearing about this story but it's fictionalized no or was there indiana, really a person it, named indiana jones i don't know what the backstory of indiana jones is it was like uh it was like a, a big adventure movie of its day i never really thought about it that much but it was super popular and it's got a very famous uh, theme song well, da, 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 da. i think that's indiana jones mm -hmm. don't sing more don't sing more because we don't want to get a copyright strike so i mean yeah um, what else is trending? <laughs> Bless you. Thanks. Uh, the next topic or the next trend is Megan Marshak. All right. This one requires a little bit of a tee up. Okay. So, <laughs> so way Please before, explain this way one to before me. Way before your day and like a little bit before my day there. So you've heard of the Rockefeller family? Yes. So very famous, wealthy, American. Uh, what's the word? I guess not. not uh, Socialite? Certainly, they were socialites. Um, the word I was looking for is um, entrepreneur. No, uh, what do you call it when like a, a tiny group of people own like everything? Uh, Conglomerate. Um, oligarchs. Okay. They're sort of like American oligarchs, right? Okay. But it was before that term was so widely used. Standard Oil Company, Rockefeller family, big rich oil family. Years and years later, one of the family members, Nelson Rockefeller. Uh, was the governor of New York State. He later, Veronica, are you paying attention to this? this is important. You like history? You like history? I'm listening. Okay. I'm looking um, up what the uh, term uh, oligarch uh, okay, means. Okay, okay. So listen, Nelson Rockefeller became the <laughs> governor of New York, and later he became the vice president of the United States under Gerald Ford. Wait, what? Yes. Wait, Norman Rockefeller was a vice president? Nelson Rockefeller was the governor of New York. He became the vice president under... Gerald I, Ford. Wait, I did not know that a Rockefeller was a was vice a vice president. president. Yes, he was appointed by Ger Gerald Ford, who took over. Who Gerald Ford was vice president under Richard Nixon. Nixon quit. Ford became oh. president. Ford appointed Nelson Rockefeller. Rockefeller. So, right. how long was Rockefeller vice president? Not long, like a year or two. Okay. Okay. All of this is wind up, so you sort of understand. This is a very, very prominent man, right? When he died at the age of 70, uh, he had sort of a side girl, and her name was Megan Marshak. I didn't know her name until this week, but it's trending on Google, and I looked up the trend, and I said, that's who that was. Hmm. So it was Nelson Rockefeller's girlfriend, and apparently Nelson Rockefeller, she was present 
at the moment he died. No. If you know what I'm trying to no. say. No, yes. I don't want to think about no, that. No, but listen, this is why this is a significant Google trend, in, my, in my opinion. Because... I'm looking her up. It was the thing of its day. It was like the big, salacious news story of the day. And that day was 1979. Interesting. And, and at that time... She was young. She was only 70. She, was, she died at 70. She was 25 when Nelson <gasps> Rockefeller died. He was 70 when he died. She was 25. No! And that's layered. So it's very layered. It's very layered. Wait, this now, was but, her? She was like a writer. But there's a couple of interesting yes, she was she worked for Rockefeller and I and she was his side girl. Oh my god. And he had it's a very, like the original Monica Lewinsky. Exactly. Well, this is what I'm trying to this is why it's a significant trend. Because, okay, get because to it, it then. I am at it. It is a significant trend because it was a salacious story of the day, mm -hmm. which would be seen very differently in a modern context. So you think people wouldn't care that he was found with his mistress it when he died It would have been today? treated completely differently. They wouldn't have been able to hold it down. In other words, to the day that this Marshak lady died, she never told the story to anybody. She didn't go on Dancing with the Stars. True. She didn't tell the story to the National True. Enquirer. She never sold her story to anybody. Now, there is an allegation or a... a indication in the new york times article that i read that she did sign a non-disclosure agreement with the rockefeller family after rockefeller died so but i don't after? know if so in other words he died yeah. she was present at the moment of death we don't know exactly what was going on we all have a guess and the Rockefeller family basically tried to squash the whole thing. There were questions of who was really there, who really knew about it. All these mysteries surrounded the death of Nelson Rockefeller, but they couldn't make this story completely go away. Wow. So that's the story. It's a, it's, Someone should make a movie out I of it. I was just going to say, Ryan yeah. Murphy, come get your hands on this because it has Ryan Murphy written all over it. And that's another Google trend. All right, so we're going to move on to another celebrity death this week that is less, uh, not that it's fun to talk about celebrity death, but that was more of like a historical thing. Uh, it's hard to talk about. All right, I'm going to interrupt you for one second. Can we get Ella to turn the volume down upstairs? No, is it coming through? Yes. Then go upstairs and ask her. Hey, Ella, can you turn down the volume on the TV, please? Thank you done okay i cannot believe that my dad just interrupted me when i was about to tell him about liam Payne. but no, okay but i interrupted you mercifully because you were being stepped on by that noise it's fine let's talk about liam Payne. as everybody knows at this point liam died um i like honestly i can't even believe i'm saying that those words i'm actually like pretty emotional about it because Obviously, like, One Direction was so much a part of my life as, like, a young tween. Um, but, yeah, Liam Payne is dead. Um, he was 31 years old. And, you know, him dying is also, like, the death of One Direction completely because... <sighs> He was, he is One Direction. Yeah. There's five people. You can't have One Direction with four people, even though they kind of did there for a minute. And, and it's really, really sad. Like, I don't know. Do you have anything to say about like the One Direction phase of life? My only reflection is that One Direction was like your Beatles. Yeah. They were the group that were booming through when you were 14, 15, 16 yeah, maybe younger, like between the ages of like, because I know they came on the scene in like 2010. Yeah. So uh, 2010 was 14 years ago. Right. So probably like 11 to like 16 is okay, like. Okay, that's the pocket, right? Yeah. You were the proverbial teeny bopper really grooving to One Direction. And, and then here you are 10 years later and one of these guys is gone. So, you know, I could see how that's very jarring and very sad. It's extremely jarring. It's extremely sad. It's it's chilling and it just feels like you know every and you know like the unfortunate thing about life is and I don't know I'm trying to reframe this in my head but like death is a part of life of course 
But in these last few weeks, there's just been too much, too much, too many young people just leaving the earth too soon. And I know there was like a lot of issues apparently with Liam Payne that I was not necessarily privy to. Um, I know that the internet was kind of bullying him Mm -hmm. in the last like few weeks. And I unfortunately was a part of that because... But not like the bullying, but like, you know, the laughing at like, oh, what is he doing at Niall's concert? Or, you know, he's acting kind of weird. And the whole thing has just made me reflect a little bit more about how we like view things on the Internet. Okay. Because it's sort of like, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't have all been like giggling about this thing. Like maybe we should have taken it a little bit more seriously. Well, I don't know that much. I mean, we see like the butt of jokes. So basically like two or three weeks, no, not even three weeks ago, two weeks ago, he was at, you know, so Niall Horan is another One Direction member who's Niall. had like yep. pretty good success. Okay. Um, And he went to one of Niall's shows because Niall's on tour right now. He went to a show in Argentina. So Niall has a solo act? Niall has a solo act now. Um, They all have solo acts now. Mm -hmm. Um, And he went to his concert in Argentina. And he was like in one of the suites. And he was like hamming it up for all the fans. Because they were really excited to see him there. And like the internet was kind of clowning on him. Because Mm -hmm. he was like acting kind of like coy about it. Or I don't know if coy is the right word. But you know he was just acting funny and like dancing for the fans and stuff and and you know in typical internet fashion they were just being mean to him um and i think we just like i have to like remember like things on the internet like there's still a real human being there right, right and again that's not what made him die but like he was struggling and and now it's coming out like he was really um he he dealt with a lot of drug and alcohol issues. Mm-hmm. A lot was going on. Um, no, it doesn't get more real than when they when they die. Then it's as real and as human as it gets. And so it's just like uh, truly like yeah. One Direction was just like the most important thing in my life. It made me and my sister closer. It made me and my friends closer. And now that's just like done. Mm. and it's really sad but that doesn't undo those relationships no 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 i mean i just mean like it's the death of one direction as well yeah um which is really sad because like all of those memories are just now they're like truly memories and like we'll never be able to like see them all together again which really sucks Oh, so let's that... wind it up. Let's wind it up with one last Google trend. Okay. So that was really tough. I don't even really know how to move on from that, but we will try. Let's talk about the last thing that was we wanted to talk about with the Google trends. So back with the internet, the internet will always find a way to clown. Always. Um, so I guess... Bath and Body Works. Are you familiar <laughs> with Bath and Body Works? I am familiar with Bath and Body Works. They put I, out... I purchased a gift certificate to somebody I work with for Bath and Body Works. Oh, that's an interesting yeah. gift certificate. Yep. Um, you know, it's like one of those places you buy candles, bath soap, and they will have a million scents and a million funny names and everything. Wait, right. one of those places I would never walk into. Why? I don't like smelly candle stores. Oh, wait, I just want to say one last thing. Yeah. So, yeah, all I want to say about Liam Payne is rest in peace, Liam. Um, I feel really sad that the world failed him. Um, and so that's all. <sighs> okay. Bath and Body Works candle. Yes. Um, so they put out a candle this week. I think it was this week. And the internet quickly was like, hey, uh, what, what, what is this? The snowed in candle. Yeah. So the snowed in candle has a snowflake on it, on the front of it. Have you seen it? I've seen it. It's a giant snowflake that that is so large that only one, like the top northeast surface of the flake is visible on yeah. the front of the can. And 
the the snowflakes kind of look like kkk hoods yes they do now do you think they do look like them or do you think that it's just like a coincidence it's both i i don't think it was intended to be this way but they you could clearly say this is an illustration of kkk attire now it's terrible it's like if the internet took five seconds to realize this what is the process with their marketing team, with their graphics team, that it even got to the point that we saw it. I don't know if there's... And did they not see it? I don't think there's a PR firm that is connected enough or fast acting enough to deal with something like this. Because that (laughs) thing, I'm guessing it was probably on the shelf for a while before someone took a picture of it got it into the exact right corner of the internet and it it exploded but you can see and this is why i think this is a good thing to talk about this week as a google trend you can see the spike mm-hmm. and you know and then it dissipated after about 24 to 48 hours well because it's like oh but that's it because it's like oh obviously they didn't actually put like the hoods on the, the candle it's just a funny one of those funny internet coincidences it's sad. it's stupid yeah. bath and did bath and body work say anything I, I don't remember what the what the aftermath no, of it was. No, they did. I, I'm reading it right here. Bath and Body Works apologized. They pulled the candles. They'll do better. And that's it. Life life goes on. Yeah, I don't think it was like we're gonna do this thing. But one other one other funny fluke thing this week that I wanted to mention with advertisement is um you know Heinz ketchup. Yes. They're under fire, and I saw it in the same for what in, under the same thing. They just ran an ad where people like eat something and then like the ketchup like goes on their face and it like creates a smiley face with the ketchup. Uh Uh-oh. And there's this one picture where this black guy has it and it looks like kind of like blackface, like minstrelly. Okay. Um, Let me just show you. So, oh wait. So basically people are like, uh, hey, Heinz, like this is literally racist. Like what? Why did you guys do this? Um, oh, they've scrubbed it from the Internet. Of things course. can things can go wrong fast in advertising, you know, like in the 1970s. You ever heard of the, the Chevy Nova? No. But like, look at that. Yeah, that's not ideal. It's not ideal. Yeah, that's not ideal. So um, they're facing backlash in the same week as the as the Bath and Body Works yeah. candle. So yeah. it's just really. Oh, Look, guys, but, like, but like with everything else, it's not what happened; it's how you respond to it. Right. So if bed bath, if body bath and body works responded, they acknowledged it. They acknowledged it was a mistake. They removed the product. Right. Life goes on. Right. I'm sure that it's a reputable company, and and things will go very well for them. But if you don't respond, and you become the butt of jokes, and it ends up on Jimmy Kimmel, and then and 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 and, and the internet takes off, and Twitter and X and everything else, but also like. Whew, it's also organic and it's just like it's good for them because you know what? I haven't thought about Bath and Body Works in like a year and a half. What am I doing this week? I'm talking about Bath and Body Works. It's funny that it happened. They didn't mean any harm by it. They fixed the problem. Veronica, I think we're going to leave it there. There's going to be more trends to talk about next week. We'll be back. Uh, we'll grab a few more of them, talk about our own direct experiences. Um, I would love it if you would like, subscribe, follow. Um, tell us what you think uh, belongs in our discussion about Google Trends from the past uh, 24, 48, 72 hours, week, 30 days. I guess nothing really matters older than a week. Yeah. And off we go. That's it for uh, the Stern Spiel for this week. All right, guys. We will see you next week with next week's Google Trends. Thanks, everybody. Bye.